Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to make my easy as lemon slice with kick-ass cookie crumb and whipped coconut cream from my book, Healthy Made Easy. Now, what I love about this recipe is the abundance of easy ingredients. We've got eggs, almond meal, coconut oil, maple syrup, and vanilla bean. This is one of those recipes that you want to cook on a Sunday so that when you're having that sweet craving during the week, you are good to go with food that is absolutely delicious. Guys, I can't wait to share this recipe with you. But for now, over to Mel. And it's good to be back in the kitchen with Luke, who's got an easy lemon slice with whipped coconut cream and kick-ass cookie crumb, which sounds Amazing. I've got to say, I don't just like to name my recipes the simple, the simple <laughs> way. I always like to add a little bit of personality because that's what food is about. It's about flavour, it's about personality, and I tell you what, you are absolutely going to love this dish. I hope. I'm sure I will. And of course, it's all out of your book, Healthy Made Easy. Yep. Which I like. It's healthy and it's easy. I'm thinking I may have turned a corner going from the not so healthy things to the healthy things with the help of you. What are we doing? All right. So right now, I have just softened down some coconut oil. Yep. Now, this coconut oil is going to act as a binding agent for the rest of the ingredients for the base of our easy as lemon slice. So all we need to do now is add some almond meal, or it's also referred to as almond flour, and that's just ground almonds. Nothing sure. else to it. And and it's fantastic wheat or flour alternative for people who might be gluten free or celiac. And available at supermarkets now, yeah, but it's not absolutely. hard to get these things. No, what I love about these ingredients is once upon a time they were kind of specialty health food items mm. and now they're absolutely everywhere, which I really, really love. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add almond butter. Now oh, again, wow. we can turn almond flour into almond butter by simply processing it in a food processor for a little bit longer. Right. What happens is all the fats are released from the almond meal and it becomes comes this gorgeous soft peanut butter like consistency. And again I'm getting really good smells out of this already. That almond butter is really doing it for my nostrils. You know what I might bring out a special cologne. It's called Almond Butter. Oh I love it. <laughs> Ready for Father's Day. Now, a bit late. last two ingredients for the base is a little bit of maple syrup. So that's which is, giving us our sweetness. That's exactly right and it's a fantastic form of sweetener because it's unrefined and unprocessed so as nature intended it. And here we've got some baking powder to help this raise a little bit. Cool. Um, so all we need to do is literally combine those ingredients easy as and then we're going to pour these into the baking tray like so. So all I've done is I've lined a baking tray yep. with some baking paper and we're going to place this in the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees and that's going to cook the base. Now right. before we go I also want to show you how to make a kick-ass cookie crumb. Oh, I'm looking right. forward to this bit. So I've smashed some macadamias. We love those. Got those yeah. in there. I've got some shredded coconut. Now, I've got a question for you, Braden. Sure. Have you ever massaged your nuts? I have never... Uh, actually, you know what? I haven't. OK. Well, look, I want you to massage mine today. So what Certainly. I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of coconut oil yep. in there. And we're going to get a bit of maple. And what we're going to do with your hands, don't be shy, get on in there and right. give it a really beautiful mix-up, all right? I feel like I'm blushing. No, no, don't blush. Just get into it. So I'm just, I'm just it. massaging That's your nuts. It. Give yep. it some heart. Yep. Feel it. Really, okay. see, you're connecting with it, I can right, tell. So, and what am, what am I looking for once I can kind of feel that the moisture's right around the coconut? Well, we're looking the for the moisture yes. and we're looking for it to bind absolutely yep. beautifully. It's looking fantastic. And that's about right. it. Okay. You well, seem like so you've done this before. Well, there's a chance I have. All right. right. <laughs> now, guys, I'm also going to place this in the oven. <laughs> 10 minutes at 180 degrees and it's going to get a little bit tart when we get back because we're going to make our lemon mixture. We need to do what next to make the kick-ass cookie crumb, Luke? All right, it's easy as. So, so far what I'm putting is lemon juice and lemon zest in here. So what I'm using is the back of this little zester and I don't know, that oh, to me looks amazing. You've got the peel of the lemon and then all we need to do is Chop the lemon in half once we've got the peel, which we call the zest, yep. and then give it a generous squeeze of the juice in there as well. So, so we'll get juice, the juice. You just about juiced on I my... I just spritzed juice. I think you may have actually <laughs> juiced on my leg. Now, just question with that. The zest and the juice do give it a different flavour, don't they? There's that, a reason that you use both. That's exactly right. The zest is a whole lot more tart, all right? Sure. So what we need to do now is make the lemon mixture by cracking four of our eggs in here. And we're also going to add coconut flour as our binding agent today. 
Now the reason I'm using coconut flour is it holds together really well. And I think for anyone who is like familiar with a lemon slice or a lemon tart, they know that that lemon mixture stays almost a little bit gelatinous yeah. and holds together. So I've got the coconut flour and then of course, sweetening today with maple. And still looking, you know, gluten free in terms of this because we're not Absolutely. using traditional flour, Absolutely. which is great. Mate, that's exactly right. So we're going to chuck the lid on, give it a little bit of power and there we go. Oh, look there at we go. So we bind, bind that together and you can look at how gorgeous and yellow that yeah. colour is right there. Now that's perfect. That's all it needs. Really? So this is really quick because this, um, the base was not in the oven for very long at all to start no, with. No, not at all. So we've done that, now what? We're just going to pour this lemon mixture on top of our base, Ooh. just like so, and I tell you what, that looks fantastic it? That to yellow me. colour, wow. Now during the show, I made the cookie crumb, yep. and that's what it is right there. Golden brown, toasted, delicious, crispy goodness. That's the shredded coconut, macadamias, maple and vanilla bean. Right. You can't go wrong. No, you can't. That looks gorgeous. So this, what happens now? We're going to put this in the oven. We're going to bake it for another 10 minutes. Sure. Meanwhile, I'm going to make our whipped vanilla coconut cream, and it is simply... The combination of coconut cream, a little bit of maple, a little bit of vanilla bean. We're going to give that a stir and we have got all the ingredients for a delicious kick-ass cookie crumb lemon slice. And we're going to find <laughs> out how that lemon slice is going. It is looking perfectly. Speaking of slice, I am slicing this up as we speak and it is looking oh, look absolutely divine. Cut it into different portions. Big bits. Yes, please. Yeah. Definitely. The big bit in the middle is for you, Mel. Great. <laughs> Great. All you need to do is sprinkle some cookie crumb. Oh, that looks great. And then a generous swig of this. Yum.